the final stages of a siege that has cost so many lives. All emergency services already stretched to near breaking point, the military engaged in an operation that they say saved lives. Then this, an explosion followed by a plume of thick black smoke that could be seen from all over this city. The Interior Ministry say the Al-Shabaab gunmen are responsible for this. It's thought they detonated explosives when the security forces attacked. Within minutes, the Interior Minister made this announcement. Our resolve to defend our country has never been higher. And we want to say that we will take the war to the criminals' doorsteps. This is our country. We are in control of the security situation and Kenyans should be, should take comfort that the country is in our hands. He also said 10 soldiers were injured during this stage of the operation and two of the gunmen were killed. It still remains unclear on what's happened to the other gunmen. Ever since the attack happened, images have been slowly filtering out. Early in the operation, these shoppers in a supermarket were attempting to find cover against indiscriminate gunfire. George! They shouted to each other, trying to give advice. Some made a run to exits. Here, a mother and child lay prone on the floor, apparently trying to pretend they'd been killed. No one knew whether the figure on the other side of the screen was a shopper or a gunman. In another part of the mall, Police moved from store to store, constantly vigilant. They guided some survivors out while checking in case they were gunmen. Such was the level of confusion. The security forces were trying to hunt down the attackers while at the same time trying to get people to safety. This latest security operation led once again to shock permeating throughout this city. The black smoke of a deadly attack thick in the air. Andrew Simmons, Al Jazeera, Nairobi.